Last night we had our youth group and I spoke to the young people about the, the secret garden, the garden of the soul. It was in the context of St. Mary Magdalene, whose feast was yesterday. But I said one of the images for the soul is a secret hidden garden. Because another way, a word for a secret garden is paradise. Our soul is meant to be a paradise. It's created as a paradise. Why? Because God is meant to dwell in the soul. That's what makes it a paradise. And we're supposed to mend the garden of the soul to keep it beautiful, to care for it, to protect it, to have a wall around it so beasts can't come in and trample all over it and so on. So I, I, I gave the young people a teaching on the secret garden, the paradise of the soul. And I told them, at the center of every true secret garden is a fountain that goes deep into the ground and life-giving waters, you know, um, water, the, the, the garden. So I took them, after the talk, we went straight to the experimental farm. Have you ever seen the, the gardens? The, you know the one, there's a little pond and there's a fountain and, and all, oh, it's beautiful. I took them there first. Then I took them through kind of the Japanese garden that has like with the trees and it has kind of a little waterfall with fish. And then I took them to the rose garden and there's a little um, bird bath in the middle of the rose garden. You know, these kind of three enclosed gardens. And I told the young people, I said, listen, when you look at these gardens, I want you to see with the eyes of your soul. I want you to recognize an image of who you are. So we took all the kids there, and they were focusing more on hanging out with their friends. I don't know how deeply they were looking at the garden, but I try, I try.